So, okay, so sorry, uh, back. I um, had to, sorry for the jump, I had to uh, take care of some business. Um, some rational business. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, like I was saying, um, yeah, it's flood the, flood the market, you know, like there's, you know, to have some visibility and eventually that's how you start, you know, it's going to start slow, you're not going to have the numbers, but then eventually you're going to get, you know, coworkers and bosses and um, employers, employees and resources that represent your ideals in terms that will respect your gender identity and that will actually be knowledgeable. So, I mean, and you have allies, you know, people who feel comfortable, you know. So, and I feel like that's a good feel, you know, like it's, um, it's hard to be, you know, replaced because someone's got to do it. Um, but here's the radical for you. If uh, robots ever take over this world or anything, that job is very hard for a robot to do. You got probably nice robots, you got robots that could probably like dispense medicine and all that, but yeah, that whole like personal touch um, might be a couple years away, unless Siri gets her, gets their act together. <laughs> um, yeah, so I would say get into that field. Um, there's a number of employers uh, uh, looking, if you Google, you know, aid, like nursing home aid or healthcare aid, um, uh, mental health aid, development disability aid, um, um, psychological aid, uh, things like that. If you Google that, you'll usually find listings of like either like whether it's a residential homes, whether it's facilities, whether it's, you know, you know, the in-between. Um, you'll find that and you know, these you don't require much other than like, you know, a high school diploma, a GED, um, as well as not as much experience. Well, like it helps to have experience, but it's not necessary. One of the big like experience um, catchers is empathy. Empathy, being able to empathize with your fellow person. If you have that, it, that's usually um, what the job I find requires to be successful at it, to be able to like listen and and hear someone who cannot, you know, fend for themselves, you know, you don't do that, you don't do that anyway. So why not get paid to do it? Why not, you know, it's a good way to start like a, as a career, whether, you know, whether it be using that to jump off into like, you know, um, medicine, if you're doing psych, if you're doing some, you know, aid for psych uh, patients, you know, it's a good way to get into the field that like no one, like, very, not no, I shouldn't say no one, but a lot of people are hesitant to touch, to get into because it's like, so, ah, it's like, ah, what do you do, what do you do? But, you know, one of the biggest things they say about that, about um, careers like that and fields like that is that you're not there to cure. It's not your role either to provide like um, an environment, an enriching environment for people who cannot fend for themselves will continue. You know, like one of the like terms of like uh, you could use the example of newborns that are like failure to thrive, and a newborn will be failure to thrive if they don't get emotional contact, physical contact. You know, if you don't just like touch the feet of a child, a foot of a child, and you just leave them there, or if you put the bottle in their mouth and just they just lay there. You know, they're being fed, you know, by the bottle, but they're going to be failure to thrive because they don't have that, you know, empathizing, you know, communique that, you know, society needs, you know. So, like, you can provide that. And, you know, my advice, you know, if your resume is not like that good, if you don't have like a lot of, um, information, you don't have like a, a lot of like job training, you don't work the actual job before in your life, like, 
you know, you can either A, start volunteering, start volunteering somewhere, get that whole like step in the door of like getting some like professional contacts or to be honest, keep it on it. Um, and it might be hard, it might be daunting. You might look at like sample resumes on Google and look at like, well, my resume looks nothing like this. Well, my resume is an extension of you. So of course it won't look like a sample resume because you're not a sample, you're, a, you're you. So like if you don't have, the, you know, you gotta sell yourself on it. You don't have to tape up a whole page of BS. You know, one of my pet peeves is like, really lying on resumes. Like I know they say like an employer won't find out, but you can sugarcoat, I guess, as to say, but I mean, I feel like authenticity is usually the best, um, best practice. And a lot of times, you know, like, you know, it's not more authentic, I guess, than being trans and gender not conforming because I mean, you'll sit back a lot of times and it seems like a common thread that like, if you don't have that support group, you self-reflect a lot. And if you self-reflect, um, then as are you have some sort of like wisdom and understanding um, about, at least about yourself, you know, maybe not about the world out there, but like, you know, maybe you do because you're, you know, reflecting for a reason. <laughs> um, usually people who reflect a lot, they plan on using that, using whatever they reflect in some type of way, whether they want to or not, sorting throughout what they want to reflect. So that's my suggestion to you. You know, if you don't have that job information that on your resume, you start volunteering. It up, there's plenty of places like that's always in need of people to just like do some free free work and do good work you know do good work and it usually pays off you know it takes time and all that but hey you know if you ain't working or you work in a career that like you don't it's not a career or uh, you're doing things that like to get money that you don't want to do or you feel like you can do and there's better for you out there you know start small start small like that and you know, lightning the inspiration strikes whenever you least expect it. So I recommend that. So I recommend jobs like that. And in terms like uh, as a rational um, jobs like health aids and psych aids, you know, fields that like, you know, and this is just my, you know, they're going to speak my truths. Um, other trans, you know, radicals, radicals or rationals might just be like, no, no, you know, do this or do that. But so like, this is just my advice. It's just like, yeah, because it seems like it's a field that like has a need. They're always having a hard time like keeping. It's turnover because people can't handle like a lot of the work and, um, you know, it's tough. But then again, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, you're, you're kind of like relaxing with people. Not relaxing, but you being like just a presence of uh, empathy, you know, it's a huge part. And then the rest will follow, and then you'll find what you want to do from there. You know, you buy yourself time, and you know that's important. Being able to buy yourself time, um, it's like that movie Time with Justin Timberlake, and uh, um, was it Mila Kunis? Yeah, like time is currency. Time is a little currency. And we all trying to buy buy ourselves sometimes to like figure out like what we want to do. So I say get into those fields and in a radical sense, I say it all like trans and gender nonconforming, you know, get into the field, flood the market. Or it's not that field technological. I know um, uh, her name, uh, Angelique Jones, I want to say, not 100%, she was, an actress on Pose who does um, tech. Um, it's a tech CEO. She's a tech CEO. Dom no, not Dominique Jackson. Angel Angelica Ross. Um, yeah, who's a uh, you know the CEO of Trans Tech Social Enterprises. So firm that helps employ transgender people. So, you know, in the tech field, I just didn't say tech because everyone, everyone, I feel like that's just like, everyone says like, that's the wave of the future. 
but I don't know. I don't know, because like, if you can do tech, if you can train a robot to do tech, like, you know, you actually not need people to do tech. <laughs> um, isn't that, I don't know, that's just my rationale on it. That like, technical, but I don't know, like, I guess there'll be a need eventually for like, tech that can convey, you know, sympathy like a human. So until that happens, um, social service fields, and even if it's not aid and all that, there's plenty of social service fields out there that um, I feel that needs a transgender non-conforming like representative because you're dealing with people, and I feel like people, like I feel like our 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 minority as trans trans G and C gender non-conforming. Um, is very cognizant of like uh, not offending people because you know we'll feel it you know we feel it ourselves so um, if you're able to convey that you know that empathy and respect in just your day to day life and you embody it in a way that like you know everyone has their their way that like they embody that as well so I'm not just saying our group is like the ones that we're the ones that like are, you know, the chosen people or anything. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that, like, you really do it. Might as well, like, just go into that field and you just, you know, have a field. Have a, a an area that, like, that, like, becomes even our stereotype. You know, when I know it's not good to, like, want to have a stereotype, but the stereotypes we have so far suck, you know, like, not a sex worker or anything like that. Um, no, plenty of other trans women that, like, even if they are sex workers, that, like, they do a professional job, <laughs> like, um, or, like, they have, like, intelligence, they're aware of, of everything, you know, um, going on and at, at a level that, like, you know, it's, like, similar to, like, how a prisoner would it's, it's smart but they're in prison you know you're not going to take away their intelligence and you have to respect their intelligence but it's just unfortunate that they're in prison you know and, um that's how i feel like you know not being able to express your true self and all that you know it doesn't mean you're not smart or anything like that and that just doesn't make sense to me so you know, yeah, I'd say like maybe that as like a plan of attack of um sticking a claim, you know, in, you know, this societal space, you know, coming up with good stereotypes, like, oh yo, I mean that's such a transgender job, you know, like that'd be cool. That'd be cool one day, right? That like, you know, kids like, I don't wanna go into that. I don't wanna I don't feel like doing a social service or a tech or whatever, accounting or business or something like, or politics, because it almost seems like, like transgender non-conforming folk are always in that market and I don't want to be in that market. That would be cool if someone said that. Like it'd be like throwing shade, but like respecting the fact that we have a market, we have like a, a field, you know, that this belongs to us and that there's no taking it away. Um, yeah, so I'm about to get going. I think the next time, next thing I want to talk about is sort of like this idea of like, so I have one, one of the um, members of my, of the group, the TGNC support group, um, had said that um, regarding um, Real, real estate practices is that like um, first you know like in terms of like gentrification at first you get the uh, the queers and in, into a neighborhood because queers already have been like you know vilified or used to obviously you go if you go into a bad neighborhood you throw like the queers in there queers can like handle anything all right because they've been doing it anyway and uh, and then like uh, white people start seeing that that it's queers and then like it feels safer and then after that, and you know, the rent goes up, 
Um, now you got like uh, then you get like the, the businesses to come in and everything, you know, and it drives up the rent even more. So like you see that's how it starts. So like I'm thinking about like name next week, you know. I've been talking about that. So, like I'll maybe like in a radical sense should go to like these real estate offices and be like, hey, you know, I know you want you want us in our, you want us in your neighborhood to to um, make your neighborhood seem cooler, like hipper, fresher, save a, you know, safe space, you know, no one sees a, no one sees a, looks at a rainbow flag and thinks it's not a safe place, <laughs> you know, like, that's that type of branding, um, it's really good branding, and, uh, like, especially the branding on, like, uh, the Brooklyn Pride Center, like, it's really similar to that, no one sees the branding, the uh, intersectionalities of the flag, you know, like, put together and think, ah, oh, this is not a safe space. They won't respect me, not respect everybody. Um, so, you know, like, but like, in terms of like monetizing that, saying that like, hey, you know, like, you wanna see a neighborhood, let's get cheaper rent, don't charge me like this rent, like, apartments that you're charging everyone else. I look like an artist, but true artist prices are expensive. So if you want the artists, the artist in here, the queers, you know, the different, the trans, the gender non conforming, the freaks, the, the gender zuckers, the gender zuck ups, like in your neighborhood to like drive up your eventual market, shouldn't like, shouldn't we gain from that? So maybe. Also, I have some books that like I wanted to get through, like discuss, but I gotta like return to the library. Yeah, that's what happens when you start a role that you you um that comes out of nowhere. Is that like in this search for preparation, you start getting lost about like what you need to do. So I got like super enthusiastic. I'm reading all these books, and now it's like now I got like books that like I still haven't read that I still have my my existing interested interests in interests interesting in, interest and just trying to like you know maintain it so I gotta give these books a library. That means it's time to go. Later this is MX Martha. That's MX as in Miss MX See, it's just like coming in reverse. Like, I don't know. I'm supposed to do a X and. <laughs> Alright, I can hold my mic, Martha. Yeah, I'll just spell it. Um, put it in the tagline. <laughs> Laters.